welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to do a first impression swatches and a bit of a tutorial on the brand new tartlet toasted palette now if you guys live in the States you probably have had this for a while here in Australia it's just been released on the Sephora site even though I do know that Tarte does do international shipping which is awesome so I purchased this from Sephora and it retailed for 69 Australian dollars so I'll talk about the packaging first we'll do the tutorial and then we'll do swatches at the end if you guys want timestamps they'll be in the description box below so you can skip to whatever part of the video you want to skip to. So this is basically what the packaging looks like. It is a kind of leopard print in a way and on the back it has a bit of details about the actual sizes and stuff like that. The net weight is 1.5 gram or 0.053 ounces times 12. So each shadow, 12 shadows, is 1.5 grams. It's made in the US and of course it is cruelty free. Now as I said I purchased this from the Sephora site. Now when I opened it I wasn't exactly happy with it. It looks like someone may have touched it, done a swatch on one of the shades which you guys probably can't tell but I'll insert some photos. Also some of the the names appear to be scrubbed off a little bit like some of the letterings from the colors have kind of faded off and there was just kind of crap all over it. I did contact Sephora. Their customer service is absolutely amazing. They apologized. They said they're happy to take it back. They can offer me a store credit, but they're not 100% sure if this palette is still in stock. So I could be sending this palette back and not actually get another one back. And I'm not really too keen on store credit because I want this particular palette. So I've decided just to give it a clean with some isopropyl alcohol, <laughs> sprayed it. So hopefully that is making it sanitary and safe for me to use so yeah I did post that on a makeup page that I'm part of on Facebook and a few people also commented saying they did have similar inconsistencies or it could just be something that's happened with the pressing uh, so I'm I'm not sure I, you know I'm not saying it's 100% a fingerprint but yeah it just seems interesting as well that other people have experienced the kind of similar inconsistencies with that particular shadow. <laughs> so there are 12 shades in this palette. Some are kind of metallic shimmery looking shades. There's matte shades and it just seems to be a beautiful array of colors from dark rich browns through to the kind of Moroccan coppery tones to really nice light colors as well. So it just seems like a beautiful all-round palette that you can do really nice neutral natural eyes or something really kind of smoky and sultry as well. I'm going to prime one eye using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and leave the other eye unprimed and we'll just compare if there is any difference. So the first colour I'm going to go in with is the colour S'more. Scrubbing a light fluffy brush, it does seem to pick up a lot of colour. A lot of colour. I'm just going to dust this over my lid. So this is my first time ever using Tarte eyeshadows as well. Alright, the next colour I'm going to go in with is Latte. Still with the same brush. I'm just going to dust this kind of into my crease. It does seem to be really, really beautifully pigmented and the shadows blend gorgeously. I think the colour is a lot more noticeable instantly on the prime side than the non-prime side, but I'm not having any major issues blending out on the non-prime side. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Warmth, which is as it says, a lot warmer and literally like it just picks up so much color on the brush. It is like so, so, so pigmented. So I'm basically just gonna go over the exact same thing that we just did, just to, pun intended, give it some more warmth. Now I'm just going in with a clean brush. I'm just gonna dust off any lines. Next colour I'm going to go in with is the shade Flame, which looks like it's a kind of shimmery metallic -y brown. Oh, it is actually a lot more golden than what I thought it would be. Very, very golden. Like bronzy golden. And I have got a tiny bit of fallout with that colour, but that's alright. 
So the next shade I'm going in with is Crackle. I just want to see how dark this is. This does have a lot of kind of gold reflect in it. And it is darker than what I thought. It does seem to be more of a matte color, but with some kind of gold glitter into it. So I want to deepen out that outer area of my eye. It seems to be very, very soft as well. Like just dabbing my brush into it has kind of dented the, the color a little bit. All right, so the next color I'm going to go in with is shade Fireside, which looks like the darkest color on the palette. Very, very matte. And I'm just going to pat that in again into that crease and incorporate it more into the outer edge of my lid as well. This color does seem a bit stiffer to work with. Like you have to pat more than kind of sweep. I'm going to go in with a clean brush and pick up on a Sunrise and just dust this up onto my brow bone and just kind of blend out any of that. This colour is super, super pretty. It does have lots of shimmer to it, which I really like. Just go back in with a tiny bit of warmth. I just want to make that colour a little bit more visible. So next I'm going to grab some concealer and I'm going to cut my crease. This is just Kat Von D concealer in the shade 1 Neutral, so it's very, very light. Alright, so I'm going to go in with the colour Candle, which seems like a super beautiful light gold colour. Oh, so pretty. This one does seem to be a bit kind of chunkier texture wise. Seems to have a lot more kind of glittery pigment to it. <laughs> so just taking a tiny bit of sunset and flame mixed together. I'm just going to kind of blend out that, that lid colour. So just for those Kind of colors meet the light and the dark. I'm going to do a tiny bit of gold liner just to kind of accentuate it a little bit. And this liner is by Line Crime. I think they have discontinued it unfortunately, but this is the shade Rhyme. So for actual eyeliner today, keeping with the kind of warm, toasty feels, I'm gonna go in with NYX's Vivid Brights Cream Color in the shade Bad Blood. Also gonna apply this onto my waterline because why not? <laughs> All right, back into shadows, and I have so much fallout happening, but that's all right. Uh, I'm going to go back in with Fireside. A little bit of cozy. Shadows are honestly so buttery. Uh, and then I'm going to go in with Candle, just a tiny bit. Back in with a shader brush, a tiny bit of warmth. <laughs> and I just want to kind of blur those colors together. I'm going to clean up the fallout and I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so I've just added some false lashes. These are Adele Faux Mink Lashes in 812. And also drew on a few lower lashes in the outer corners because I pretty much have none. So I'm going to zoom you guys out. Dun, dun, dun. Let's get down to my thoughts on the Tartlet Toasted Palette. I think it is absolutely a gorgeous, beautiful palette. You can create a massive array of looks with this one palette. I think if you were to go on holidays or something like that, all you would really need is this palette if you like kind of neutral, warm tones. There is a great mix of colors in this palette, but I do feel that this palette is more aimed for lighter skin people because there is so many real light shades and I feel that on any kind of deep, rich skin tones, they're just gonna to be too 
light, they're going to look chalky or powdery. Of course, someone off color can definitely wear this palette and make it look amazing. Majority of the shades are in the medium to light range for this palette with only two really dark colors available. I found the shadows beautiful to work with. They're very, very pigmented, very easy to blend. And with blending, it didn't kind of blend away the pigment of the color either, which I thought was awesome. You definitely do get fallout with this eyeshadow palette so I do suggest probably doing your eyes prior to doing your base makeup because you probably will have to take off you know your under eye makeup and come back and do it all over again so suggest doing your eyes first with this product uh, some of the shadows are super super soft like Dipping the brush into them was like, whoa, like crazy, crazy soft. Uh, it was mainly like these kind of metallic-y shadows that were really, really soft. But in terms of the mattes, I think they're quite nice to work with and not super soft. So I definitely think this palette is absolutely gorgeous, worth it if you want to invest some money in purchasing it. Absolutely love it. Decent sized shadows. Um, shadows that come in the palette I think you'll get a lot of use out of this and yeah I just hmm, I absolutely adore this palette I can see this becoming my new kind of holy grail eyeshadow palette even though I have so many eyeshadow palettes on my way <sighs> so that being said let's get into the swatches and I'll let you guys know what I think of the swatches I will be doing finger as well as brush swatches so we'll go through and do the finger swatches first I'm gonna point you guys down to my crutch Dun, dun, dun. So we'll start off with the top row. So the first one is S'more, which is very, very, very light. Next one is Sunrise. Then we have Sunset. And the last one is Crackle. Next one down, we have Cashmere. Warps. Flame and Cozy. Final row we have Candle, Latte, Simmer and Fireside. So I'm going to do the brush swatches on this arm. I'll go in with a kind of medium, not too fluffy but not too dense brush. So again we have Small sunrise sunset and crackle whoa crackle look at that crackle is pigmented then we have cashmere warmth flame and cozy then the last one candle latte Emma. Shimmer and Fireside. All right, so definitely looking at the brush swatches, the matte shadows really stood out a lot more, I think. The darker matte shadows, like the Crackle and the Fireside. Some of the metallic shadows didn't really show up too much, like the Candlelight and the lighter shadows, not as much either, but it's still pretty, pretty good considering. Okay, rainbows, I hope you liked this video. I am absolutely in love with this palette and I do highly recommend that you guys grab it if you can afford it or if you want to save up and grab it. You will not be disappointed. If you love these kind of shades, oh, it is gorgeous. The colors are super pigmented, beautiful to work with, and you guys will not regret it. I absolutely love, 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 love it. Thank you, Rainbow, so, so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe. Also, please press the bell icon so you guys will be part of my notification squad and know when I have a new video out. Because you don't want to miss, I have purchased the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette, which is on its way to me, as well as the brand new Align Crime Venus Extra Large Palette. So stay tuned. I will be having first impression review tutorials on those coming out very soon. <laughs> all right, rainbows. I love you all. And I'll see you guys in my next video.